So we're coming into the business end of the season now, and uh, it's time to win our third title in a row. Let's get that done. What's up, guys? I'm Chasing Lanely. Welcome back to episode number 89 of Passport to Poland, where we are chasing down that title. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe for this and of course Versus 4 which you may have seen announced elsewhere on YouTube on the Custard Profits channel I'm one of the eight people taking part, it's taking part seven of the best FM YouTubers and somehow me uh, definitely stay tuned for that that's going to involve our old friend Juventus that we've beaten twice this season already so um, today however we are playing Lech Poznan in the final game of the regular season we're sitting 12 points clear in the title race, which is always interesting. Um, we've got seven games to go after this, and we've got got to try and keep that lead going. Uh, I don't know, I clicked on transfers, then I meant to click on schedule. It's because I've rearranged stuff whilst I've been moving, hence the lack of posters and things behind me. We're in the last few episodes that are going to take place from Student Towers. Uh, what you've missed since we last played at PSG is a 3-1 win against Vistler Pluck. Uh, with a brace from a Kiari Wright making a rare appearance alongside Zdenek Vishek, who uh, who was making his first appearance in anger for the club, um, his first start for the club certainly, and uh, yeah, he's he's one of those youngsters we've brought in to try and develop one of the Czech youngsters, and then we lost one 0 Shajagi Alonia, which hasn't derailed our title race too much. Alex Rico, the best man on the field for us with a 7.8, but picked up a booking, which means that he is suspended for today's game, unfortunately which we'll have to just work with and make do. Um, but today we are playing Poznan. Poznan are 15th, so it should be easy pickings for us. But uh, I thought I'd go full strength get the strength against them anyway. They've recently fired their manager and, and appointed Tim Krul, who played for us last season, you might remember. Uh, I think he only played one game for us. I think I gave him like a token run out in something. I may not even give him... Like, I gave him a token cup run out and he conceded three goals as we went out of the cup in the first round last season. I remember, so not a not a stellar history with us, but consider, continuing Poznan's record actually in recent years of appointing guys who used to work for us as manager. Aaron Levy was there for a while. Uh, I think one of these guys as well, um, one of the previous incumbents may have been an under-21 boss. They've had a few people either for us, or it's been a case of every time they sack a manager, they're linked to most of our coaching staff. So let's get into this one. Let's get into this one quickly. We're going to try and go for that golden 15-minute episode because I want to prove that I can do it. So today's team, Wilson, Francis, Stewart, Black, Divine at the back, Klima, Ribeiro, Jordao and Liss in midfield, and Sindelar and Sterling at start up top with Bajelski, Bang, Dostalek, Mitchell, who's on his way back from injury, Cruz, Longstaff, Shimchak, Angolastri and Turek. One big thing that did happen since the last episode, because I signed all those old uh, Czech internationals, none of which are playing today, funnily enough, um, Klima is a Czech international that is playing, but he's the only one who's made it in. Um, it meant I could actually finally extend the loans of Francis, of Stewart, of Ribeiro and Mitchell without any any complaints from the board, which is nice. So they will be with us for next season as we try and make it four in a row, hopefully. But let's get into this game because this game is the one that's important. I don't know if Poznan have got any players who used to play for us. Poznan are in real trouble as well. Poznan, 15th of course, is the second bottom position. They are just ahead of Pod Biscidzi, who we saw a few episodes ago, um, who are already relegated, I believe. Or if they're not already down, they're pretty close to. We know Sevchik is good, but he can't have had a great season this year. Um, a lot of youngsters in this team. I'm guessing, I didn't see any notification about it, I'm guessing they've had some kind of financial issues because a lot of the players there i don't recognize There's a lot of youngsters in this team i they've had a big overhaul this guy's montenegrin international though he looks like he could become a tasty player we'll have a little look at him if they've got financial issues and he's any good i'm happy to help um yeah i, th I think they've had some kind of issue they seem to have lost a lot of their best players because they did qualify for europe last season we're going to go with a simple let the assistant do his team talk thing and we're going to hope we can pick up a win and kind of compound their misery they've got an early throw in though which is going to make things interesting. Kostovic only throws it as far as Klima, and now Ribeiro is going to run at them. Ball forward to Kaziah Sterling. He's through on goal. Kaziah Sterling has a pop, and it's been put wide by Veglas. So we will take a corner 
and Valdemar Lith, the Polish Messi, is the man that steps up, whips in the corner to the back post where Sterling can't quite get there, but Sindelar is there to pick it up. Cuts it back to Klima, who has to work for it to Jordao. Back to Klima, into Liss. Liss loves being on the wing. Can he do something with it? Can't do anything with it that time, and he's won himself another corner. An early pressure. Early pressure might lead to an early goal. Let's see what we can do. Whips in the corner. Over the back post, but Fedglass will claim those all day long. And you're looking at the table there. Um, Lek could save themselves, but Fitzu and Arca are ahead of them, which is a bit worrying for them. Fistler Krakow are also ahead of them. A few teams in there you'd expect to be in the conversation to go down. Would not have expected Poznan to be going into the relegation group as Sindelar picks up a long ball forward from Francis. He's through. Sindelar just puts it wide. He's been in good form for us recently as well. Really good form. Just a quick sidebar while we, get to the, while we get to the next highlight. So far, seven goals and 11 appearances for us. This man is on fire. He's absolutely on fire since joining us. It's making it very difficult once again to make team selections. I asked the uh, the opinion of the assistant manager. He wanted me to start with Sindelar and, uh, and Mitchell up top today, but I didn't want to risk Mitchell a playing as a, well. I didn't want to risk Sindelar playing as the pressing forward. I didn't want to risk Mitchell uh, trying to play 90 minutes on the comeback from injury. I thought we'll break him back in gently. We're going to get asked to get creative though, because we haven't had a goal yet at 35 minutes in. And I know Poznan should be a good team, but the way they're playing at the moment, they shouldn't be good enough to cause issues. I'm surprised Yusuf isn't starting, because Yusuf has always, always caused us problems. He always seems to score against us. So, um, Tim Krul definitely taking a unique approach to management in his first appointment. I, I certainly would have started Yusuf for them, because like I said, he's always, always been an issue for us. He's always been a problem. And I don't know why you wouldn't pick a guy who's always a problem for your opposition. If you're in the in the process of going down, we need to get creative again. We need to see something from this team. Sindelar, despite the fact I have bigged him up for having seven or well, seven in twelve now, is not performing. I think it's time for him to make way, and we will see if Darren Mitchell can start his comeback trail. Uh, we have to keep an eye on Reese Devine and Francisco Ribeiro. Um, because it's very likely they're going to tire out and need to be withdrawn. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully Mitchell can step up. We're going to make that change because being more direct sounds like a plan. I'm also going to go more attacking. I'm also going to demand more from the players because they've shown me absolutely nothing so far. Um, I think we had to take Reese Devine off because he's tiring. I know we're defending something. Uh, but we'll take Reese Devine off. I'm going to sit, send Angelastri on because I feel like he's probably been on better form than I give him credit for recently. That goes in. Stuart Russell, Toth has put it away, and we're 1-0 down against Poznan. And this is not a sign of things going well at all. Um, okay. Well, demanding more didn't help. But hopefully, we have to, hopefully showing some passion. Well, I feel this is the kind of game where I should have sucked the kids out again. Tried to get that enthusiasm through. Uh, we are going to make that tactical change because regardless, Divine was not playing well. I want some passion. The old Lelujo, 10 minutes of passion. Darren Mitchell's picked up a knock. That makes that last change <laughs> risky. Uh, I'm going to have to hold off for a second. Kaziah Sterling's not playing well at all. He needs to really buck his ideas up. He's supposed to be leading this team. Is Mitchell going to come back from that? I'm not. I don't think I can risk taking him off. Ribeiro is playing well. I can't afford to withdraw Ribeiro. I'm going to have to take Kaziah Sterling off. Valdemar Liss is going to move up top, uh, and we're going to stick Dostalek in there and hope that makes a difference. Valdemar Liss can play up top. He's done okay for us when I've used him up top, um, especially as a pressing forward. But I need to see more from these guys, and it's going to have to be a very attacking kind of moment, I think. And it's going to have to be some kind of something needs to change. Serkan whips the ball across to Borovia to Gustuliek. Uh, and that goes out wide to Baranowski. Baranowski with the ball forward. Dostalek gets in the end of it. Mitchell's through. Mitchell with a burst of pace. One on with the keeper. Can he save us? He straight at the keeper. We've got a free kick. Liss was tripped. That is in Valdemar Liss range. But apparently he did nothing with it. Because we don't get to see the highlight. And this is getting... Really, really bad. More passion, please. More passion, guys. Last five minutes. 
Let's get this done. Let's see if we can get a point from today. We can't. This is frankly shocking. Frankly shocking for this episode. Um, we shouldn't be losing to pause now. We're going off the boil. We're almost. We've got a. I've got that awful, awful feeling. A boss or job is coming. Um, so that's a worry um, for the next episode. I am. It's going to be a really quick episode today. <laughs> it was a very uneventful game. For the next episode, I will come back either for the last game of the season or when we get the the magical message saying this could be um, this could be the one where we win the title. Uh, just so you guys are aware, this week it's going to be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule because I'm, as I've said several times, I'm moving house. I'm not going to have a lot of time between that and work to produce five episodes this week. So it's going to be a three episode week. So the next episode will be out on on Wednesday where we will hopefully secure the title. And I say hopefully secure the title because I'm not massively confident if we're going to play like that against a team that are on the verge of going down. Uh, you can see the championship group though. We have Slosk, Lecce, Legia, Krakow, Gornik, Zaglevia finally rejoin the top half, Pogon and Plock. So it's going to be a good run in. But yeah, in the meantime guys, I've been chasing lately. Best do that whole camera switch thing because I haven't done that. I, I should have. Uh, in the meantime guys, um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, especially for Versus 4. Head over to Custard Profits channel to uh, to see the full score on, on Versus 4. But essentially, seven of the best football manager YouTubers and myself, for some reason, I don't know why I was invited, I'm grateful to be there, but I don't think I belong amongst those guys, they're all very good, um, are going to be playing as Juventus in a straight fight to see who can get the most points over a single season. It's one of those interesting challenges that's really going to test us i need to be on my top tactical and transfer game over the course of a single season and we all know how my ta transfer and tactical game can be over the course of a first season you remember this this first season of this series we almost got fired um, so no pressure uh, don't forget to hit, hit the uh the socials you'll see twitter updates and everything going on the channel when i remember to do them Instagram and Patreon should you wish to throw a few shekels my way so I can maybe pay for a postgrad sometime this century. Um, but in the meantime, guys, I've been chasing lamely. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you all very soon. Have a good one.